This book gives those stories that are not um, shiny and pretty and Pinterest or uh, Instagram worthy. These are the stories of the trenches because motherhood, I had no idea before having kids how lonely motherhood was going to be and how isolating it was going to be. Right. And it was a rude awakening to be surrounded by all of these people and feel lonely because you struggle, you, 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 you carry every decision, all the weight of those decisions. And it becomes very um, anxiety filled when you realize that your heart now walks outside your body because that's what right. these kids are. And so this book is about connecting moms and talking to, to women and letting them know like, Hey, you know, we've, we've been there. This is what it's like. I feel you. I understand. And it's all of the raw, nitty gritty, dirty stuff, along with obviously the, you know, the joyous sides of parenting. But I, I did a whole chapter that was just about, um, you know, different needs parenting when it comes to autism and having a kid on the spectrum. I talked about living with two kids who are going through puberty. I talked about, um, my husband's love language is actually sex. It's nothing about what they tell you in those books about acts of service. He's like, no, he want, he expects some service. Okay. Like this is, <laughs> this is what it is. But you know, if you talk about these things, other people, feel that they can have a seat at the table. And that's what I want this book to be. It's like you and I are sitting down and we're having a drink or a cup of coffee and we're exchanging these stories, these war stories of parenting. And that's what I want. I want women to be able to feel like they're not alone. I was just going to say, you really did a good job making, just off that speech, making me feel not alone. I can only imagine when I finish your amazing book, how it's going to feel so much better and relatable, you know, child on the spectrum, because that's a whole other type of alone that I'm glad. Yes, totally. Well, you've done an amazing job. I'm so happy for you. Ask me what's for dinner one more time is the name of the book. Meredith Masony, thank you so much. And I hope your son's teacher pronounces his name correctly because he (laughs) deserves that. (laughs) Poor kid at some point, right? But I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. This was, this was, it was a little bit of a mind blowing moment for me because I read Belly Laughs years ago with Oh. Um, Matthias, because I got that as a gift when I was um, pregnant with him. Oh, and so this is kind of like one of those weird, full circle moments where I'm chatting with you, and you know, I was fangirling, but I totally kept well, it cool in my jam is, jams, Right? I was telling my producers, I go, "This reminds me of like belly laughs. It's like that." you know, the truth, the real truth yeah. about it. Yes. So people don't have to feel so alone. So thank yep. you for writing it because I'm too tired to write anything else in my life. <laughs> Ask me what's for dinner. One more time is the name of the book, Meredith Masony. Thank you so much. And we're going to plug it on social media. So you sell even more. I appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You guys have a good night. I hope I see you soon. I want you back sometime. Oh, I'd love it. Have a good one. 